Hello. Uh, before I play you this clip, here is some context for it. The Sulphur Lake committee tweeted an application form and uh, folks from the Discord applied to said form. Uh, some time later, the Sulphur Lake committee announced a uh, time and they emailed me some instructions of how they wanted a channel set up for them in the Discord. I complied because what did I have to lose really? And when the time came, we were just kind of anxiously awaiting something to happen. Uh, Discord user Betty stepped up on the stage and began speaking. I'll also add here that I have cut out between 5 and 10 minutes silence between each question and answer. So this went on for about an hour and a half originally. Okay, here we go. Welcome. We want to start by making something clear. The person whose voice you're currently listening to is not the person who is communicating to you. We are the Sulphur Lake Committee. Betty has graciously accepted our request to be our representative for the evening. We do this to, for several reasons. Among them are the fact that we do not want you to look at us as individuals. Furthermore, we wish to not have any sort of prejudice or other external factors, such as accent, gender, skin color, tone of voice, or the like, to affect or muddy your perception of the SLC. We do not think you have that kind of prejudice, but we still prefer to remain a voice. We are a worldwide organization with a diverse group of members. It would not be fair for one of us to speak for all of us. So we want to give an enormous thank you to Betty for stepping up to this occasion. And again, nothing Betty says tonight should be taken as coming from her. She is merely our representative. Now here is how this will work. We know you have questions and we want to do our best to respond to them. We will unfortunately not be able to answer everything. This is for the safety of your friend H. However, you have our word that we will do everything we can to answer as much as possible. Anyone with a question can use the functionality that we have been told should be available to raise your hand. A moderator will then bring you up here on this virtual stage and you will get to ask your question. Once you have, you will step off the stage again. We will then discuss internally and together formulate an answer, which we will forward to Betty. Betty will give you the answer and we will then repeat the process. We would like to ask you once more to treat Betty with the highest possible respect and understanding that she is not in charge of how long it takes or what the answers are. We also would like for you to have an understanding for the time it will take between each question while we formulate our answers. This will not be an intense back and forth and your patience is crucial. We suggest you use the time in between the answers to formulate any questions you may have. Lastly, we want to encourage you to ask your questions yourself. We have seen quite a bit of insecurity in some of the members of this community, but have seen no discernible reason for it. Self-doubt is a vicious beast, but a lying one. Stand proud, ask whatever it is your intuition suggests you do, no matter how big or how small, and believe in the power you hold to make a difference. Sometimes the most insignificant questions hold the most revealing answers. We will now begin taking your questions. Thank you. So I will uh, ask three questions and then you can answer whenever you want. Uh, first of all, what is your relationship to X? Is he an entity or a person? Uh, is X also F? Uh, do you know where is J? And are we talking about time travel or what is going on with H? Uh, what kind of T step or stabilization do you want to do? The Sulphur Lake Committee thanks you for your question. We will now deliberate between ourselves and will return with a statement. Thank you for your patience. Our relationship with the entity you call X is a long and complicated one. The process is of such a nature that you will soon get even more answers to the specifics of our history. But the process is also of such a nature that answering in more, de more detail than that could be harmful at this point. X has been called many things. We believe some have referred to it as F, yes. However, we do not know about the whereabouts of J. We unfortunately don't have enough manpower to deal with that right now. 
We do not know about which names you have given to the different pieces of your specific puzzles. Um, I want to ask, based on past interactions with X, uh, how much you can tell us about those. Um, like how we know that he came through to uh, Jay's dad O with novels. And based on what has happened in the past, what should we prepare for going forward? What should we expect? And especially what should H be ready for? And how can we help him get ready? Because it sounds like he might be taken again. And we're kind of worried about that. The Sulphur Lake Committee thanks you for your question. We will now deliberate between ourselves and will return with a statement. Thank you for your patience. The past interactions between X and the SLC have been many. However, the records do not go as far back as we would have hoped. It is impossible to know exactly what you should be expecting. He will most likely not be taken again anytime soon. And if we do our job right, then no one else will either. Thank you SLC for being willing to answer our questions and thank you Betty for being such an excellent communicator on their behalf. Um, I think one of the biggest questions that I have is, um, is there anything that SLC can provide to us on the origin nature of X? Um, you've kind of hinted to it that there could have been some in the beginning type of origin for X. And I'm just curious about nature and what you know about the nature of X considering your past engagements. Um, also, uh, if you if there are any known weaknesses that we uh, can be aware of um, and need to take into consideration, especially for H as he continues on this journey. Thank you. The Sulphur Lake Committee thanks you for your question. We will now deliberate between ourselves and will return with a statement. Thank you for your patience. The complete history of X is somewhat unclear. We have scriptures and said scriptures contain references and depictions of how X came to be, what it wants and how it operates. But in the way that any and all holy texts have ever been written, a lot of it is up to interpretation. We do, however, know some things for sure, and those will come to light soon enough. We cannot speak on weaknesses at this time. Testing? Awesome. Um, so I have, I have Two questions. Um, one is a more uh, group question oriented question, and the other one is a thing that has been bothering me personally, but probably nobody else cares about. Um, the bigger group question is are, are static and glitches typical for X uh, through history, or is this more connected to sort of our specific version of X? Um, and then my my personal question is, I have been trying to find those statues in the November 5th video since I saw it, and I cannot find them. Where are those? The Sulphur Lake Committee thanks you for your question. We will now deliberate between ourselves and will return with a statement. Thank you for your patience. X is not natural to our plane of existence. Its mere presence will cause a disturbance in the very fabric of reality. X will, however, be affected by factors that over time will differ and change. This too will soon come to light. As amused as it makes us, your questions on the statutes are more than just that. It is important, not the statutes themselves, not the location itself, nothing about that video, in fact, but the questions. Keep asking questions, never stop asking, never stop pondering, never stop. We would like to remind everyone of what was said in our opening speech. Sometimes the most insignificant questions may hold the most revealing answers. Hello, SLC and Betty, thank you for being such an excellent communicator. Um, my question is, um, was X ever part of the SLC committee? Um, also, um, was O ever part of the SLC uh, committee? Um, and uh, how does O and X relate to each other in that way? The Sulphur Lake Committee thanks you for your question. We will now deliberate between ourselves and will return with a statement. Thank you for your patience. X has never been part of the SLC. It has, it has however, walked along our side for as long as anyone can remember. That is not to say that it 
has the same goal or outlook as the SLC. On the contrary, it represents a great shame for the SLC. The person you call O was involved in X's doings. He has never been part of the SLC and unfortunately hasn't, as far as we know, from where we stand right now, been in any kind of contact with the SLC at all. You hear me now? Yeah. Uh, so what is going to happen when or if H finds all 10 tapes? Those that you refer to as subjects, how did they get chosen? And what that happened to the previous subjects before H? The Sulphur Lake Committee thanks you for your question. We will now deliberate between ourselves and we will return with a statement. Thank you for your patience. The subject of the 10 steps is a touchy one. Knowing too much before you are supposed to runs the risk of tainting your mind, leaving you unable to clearly judge the situation. As far as we know, the subjects get chosen based on a few factors, such as personality, profession, location, and age, but we cannot give you any more specifics as we do not have all the information at this time. All previous subjects have ended up with similar fates, but in various forms and with the details on how exactly it transpired varying greatly. The Sulphur Lake Committee will take three more questions from three separate people who have not asked any previous questions. We ask to only ask one question each. Hello. Okay, so I just want to say thanks and thank you, Betty. Uh, we'd like to know why or how you chose your name, Sulphur Lakes Committee. Thank you. The Sulphur Lake Committee thanks you for your question. We will now deliberate between ourselves and will return with a statement. Thank you for your patience. Revelation 2010. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false, false prophets were. And they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Revelation 1920. And the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet, who in its presence had done the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped its image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur. My question for the SLC is, why is X the great shame? The thing you know is it. The Sulfur Lake Committee thanks you for your question. We will now deliberate between ourselves and will return with a statement. Thank you for your patience. The shame comes not from us, but from those who walked before us. We are simply doing our duty in correcting the wrongdoings of the past. You will soon know everything you need to know, but until then, we thank you for your patience yet again. The Sulphur Lake Committee will take one more question. Hi, I was wondering if I could ask what the recipe that number three was talking about in one of your tweets. The Sulphur Lake Committee thanks you for your question. We will now deliberate between ourselves and will return with a statement. Thank you for your patience. Perry pie, 15 minutes preparation, 25 minutes baking time. Filling, five cups stemmed and pitted fresh, dark, sweet, or sour cherries. That's about two pounds whole unpitted cherries. Three quarters cup, 150 grams, granulated sugar for sweet cherries or one cup, 200 grams, for sour cherry. Three tablespoons cornstarch, one quarter teaspoon salt, two teaspoons of misdirection, two tablespoons freshly squeezed lemon juice for sweet cherries, or a half teaspoon for sour cherries. Grated zest from half a lemon, a half a teaspoon vanilla extract, one cup of dreams you will never forget, half a teaspoon of kirsch, optional, two tablespoons unsalted butter, cream, or milk for brushing on top of the crust, coarse or granulated sugar for sprinkling. The Sulphur Lake Committee will now prepare a closing statement and will return shortly. We would like to end on a message to the man under the alias H. 
We have been studying you and have done all that we can from a distance. We, however, have reasons to believe that you still might be experiencing some side effects, and we would like to look further into that. This might very well be nothing of note, but we don't want to leave any stones unturned. Luckily, not only do we have representatives all over the globe, one of them just so happens to be located quite close to you. You can expect us to reach out with further information soon. To the rest of you, thank you for asking your questions. Thank you for allowing us entry into your digital home. Your questions were grand, most of them touching on the very foundation upon which our committee rests. Those questions are important, but don't be afraid to stop and admire the little things. A bird in the tree, a pair of eyes looking back into yours, a wind that softly whispers the name of a person whose name you'd forgotten. Life is more than the big questions. Only half of the world adheres to logic. If you don't agree with that, you haven't looked hard enough. The Sulphur Lake Committee looks brightly upon the future. Thank you for your time.